first time I'm here by myself, there's a picture on the floor and it just... What the hell? Today we got top 10 scary videos of what the f is that? Concerned father Chris from Fargo, North Dakota says that his four-year-old son has been behaving very strangely. What you mean, strange? Over the last three or four days, the child has said that he just doesn't want to go in the bedroom because he says, quote, there's a monster in there. Oh no. Obviously, Chris just dismissed these claims as a child's overactive imagination. But then, one night at around 2 a.m., the boy is fast asleep in bed when something happens that Chris and his wife simply can't explain. Something truly shocking. Oh Lord. In accordance with YouTube guidelines, no one was injured in this footage. But were they? Oh! Oh my gosh! When he appears to get shoved out of bed by some invisible force. Chris says that his son cried out in shock, but thankfully, the boy was How? and completely unharmed. Chris says that the previous owner of their house passed away right in the living room. Why would you buy this house? I never understand this or understood this. I would need to know that information before I buy this house. Before I buy this crib, you need to let me know if it's some ghosts up in here, if it's some evil spirits that's up in here, or something, bro. Don't play with me, because I will rough you up. This realtor is not about to play with me or he going to get dealt with. Simple. And I know you feel the same because you not no hoe like the rest of these people. You not like you not going for that. You part of the mob. But bro, why would you buy a house where like in the middle of the living room is crazy? Am I tweaking? And he wonders if this tragic history has anything to do with what's happening to their son. Hold the door. A woman no. named Nadine has been experiencing some very strange and unexplained events in her home in Alabama. Alabama, that's scary already. <laughs> that big dog. Oh. Bro, I be seeing animals do this like often, way too often for comfort, if that make any sense. But this house do look beautiful. I can't wait to get my own spot. She got a kid? Oh no, I don't like this. What is he growling at? <laughs> he sent something. That's not now, normal. Many viewers believe that they can hear a voice whisper something after the dog barks that sounds like, lay over there. What? <laughs> nah, I ain't hear that, bro. But what do you hear? Nothing. <laughs> As for Nadine, she says that she's a skeptic and doesn't really believe in ghosts at all. But then one night, she's looking after her two-year-old daughter, Blake. Oh no, not Blake. Something happens that freaks her right out. Blake! Blakey. No, not Blakey. Don't mess with Blakey. Do you want me to go open the door? Why? Oh. No? Okay. Blakey? Okay, I, I'm i honestly freaking the f*** out and I don't know what to do. Just a couple minutes ago, I got up and I closed my door Wait. because she kept pointing Wait. to my room saying, Wait. Mommy, Mommy, Wait. someone's over there. Yes, but... and, what? And she was terrified. She, she, was, she was terrified. Of course, freaking me out. So I went over there. So you decided to pick your phone up? What? <laughs> she just said, no, Mommy, come here. Come here, Mommy. Sit, sit, Mommy. Don't go over there. And so I called the dog and I closed my door. And as you can see... Dude, she's still terrified. She's still terrified. She doesn't want me going over there. She doesn't want me open the door. I am, dude. I'm terrified. Blakey, mommy's gonna go open the door, okay? Oh no. It's okay. I'll be right back. Her moving so slow. And now she's hiding her face. Dude, what the f <laughs> What did she see? 
It's okay, baby. Bro, and why is she moving so slow and acting so weird, bro? I don't like this. I don't like this. This is something out of a horror movie. This really how they be acting too, from what I'm seeing. It's okay, baby. The door noise is crazy. What? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, tell me I'm not... What do I do? Little two-year-old Blake is terrified of something in Nadine's bedroom. So much so that Nadine has to close the door. Man, Nadine playing. <laughs> calm her daughter down. So could it be that little Blake saw a supernatural entity? Or just what was scaring her? Let me know what you think. What y'all think? Alone on the farm. Tasha D and her husband move into an 1840s farmhouse in rural upstate New York. The happy couple begins to renovate their new home. But soon, Tasha begins to experience some very unsettling and unexplained events. I ain't gonna lie, I'd be scared to get stranded on the farm. Would y'all be scared to get stranded on the farm? I feel like being just out there with no, like, hospital really, really close, no, like, stores really, really close, it's like, on one hand, you farm, so you can get your food and all of the stuff that you need, but at the exact same time, I wouldn't want to be that isolated from so much, you know? These strange incidents only seem to occur when Tasha is home alone, so her husband is a bit skeptical. So one day, a picture frame in the house inexplicably falls to the floor. Tasha grabs her phone and starts to record in hopes of proving to her husband that something's just not quite right in the old farmhouse. See, and you think I'm crazy. The first time I'm here by myself, there's a picture on the floor and it just... What the hell? Oh! Things soon start to get even weirder. Bro, what? Because the nah, get out the house. begin to act really strange. The dogs start acting strange. The door just closed by itself. What do you mean? Did you, you just gonna skip over that? Why are you running? <laughs> oh. <laughs> nah, get out of there. Another day, and Tasha is recording a candid video of her dog. Something about a dog barking and looking over at you and having their eyes glowing is just spooky to me. Dogs to post to stop being a bum. When <laughs> this happens, look at them destroying the living room over one toy. <laughs> the dog looks like it got bigger, huh? Silly. Right after posting the video to Snapchat, a worried friend reaches out to Tasha to warn her about what seems to be a strange shadow-like figure shadow. moving up the wall oh. beside her dogs. Tasha has no idea what the creepy shadow could be, so she shares her story to TikTok, hoping to find answers. The video soon grabbed the attention. What they gonna tell you? Your house hunted? They gonna spook you the hell out more than you already spooked? Going to TikTok is not the de decision to make. To the millions of concerned TikTok viewers who wonder if Tasha might have awakened a paranormal presence by renovating the 180-year-old farmhouse. And then, one night just after midnight, someone rings Tasha's doorbell. What? When she checks the security camera, what she sees chills her to her core. Yeah, I do see something moving around that chair. Oh. Hell no. A dark shadow can be seen moving towards the outside deck chair and appears to just take a seat. It then gets up, moves away towards the right, and disappears. So did Tasha and her family move into a haunted farmhouse? 
Could the renovations be upsetting a lingering paranormal presence, causing it to act out? Bro, ain't nothing worth all that. <laughs> Let me know. What I'm you moving, think. bro. I love my life. Imaginary friend. Y'all believe in a woman from Oregon paranormal says that activity? Her daughter claims that there's something living in their basement. Hiding something in the living storage area. What do y'all think is, and this is going in the debate. I want y'all to go to the comment section and let me know. What do y'all think is spookier? Do y'all think attics are spookier or do y'all think basements spookier? I don't know why. I feel like basements so much spookier in my opinion. Y'all think basements spookier than attics? I feel like attics not that crazy. But like basements, bro? Underneath the house? Oh no, I couldn't. Bria just underneath the stairs. I would never go down. Of course, the mother dismisses these claims, just thinking it's the little girl's overactive imagination. But that same day, after hearing something strange coming from the basement, the mom decides to check the footage from their security camera. Oh no. She sees, chills her to her. Bro, what is this? This do not look good. If it's not clean, they should not be down there looking through it or none of that. That door should be locked, closed. Kids can't go down there and it shouldn't even be allowed to be open, bro. What? Core. Oh, what the hell is that? Did you see it? I did. A small pale <laughs> hand can be seen reaching out from under the stairs before just disappearing. Even creepier, both the child and the family cat seem to spot this bizarre apparition. Next. The little girl even seems to wave at something that we can't see. Now, unfortunately, this video was shared to the internet without. See, the wave is the scary part. Oh, what is she waving? Source. So we'll probably never know just what happened here. What walks in the woods? Reddit user Noah in 1998 woods? says that this video was caught on a trail cam 20 miles out into the Idaho woods in the middle of nowhere. Now, there is no reason that anyone would be this far out in these isolated woods at this time of night. So what is this? What is that? What the hell? Oh, that don't look good. Someone or... That looked like a thing. Past a forest trail cam at 4:37 in the morning, in the middle of the woods, in the middle of nowhere. Curious Reddit viewers point out that this strange humanoid figure just looks kind of off. Very it's off. Perhaps not even human at all, as it seems to have very pale skin, thin, frail arms, and a long neck. Now, is Ugh. this a very lost and? Very strange person wandering around the remote woods of Idaho, or is it something else? I, I don't leave that know. for you to decide. Bro, never go out in the woods by yourself, bro, ever. Lurking in the darkness. Now this next extremely popular video was suggested so much, probably close to a thousand times, Dang. there's really no choice but to feature it here on Nuke's Top 5. So. Dustin Frazier says that he works the night shift at an allegedly haunted hotel in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Really? One night, Dustin is recording a Snapchat video to send to his friend when something happens that makes his blood run cold. I just got to work and I feel like, ugh, like all day today, I felt bad. Almost it's less like a little bit. I, I think we've seen this one. And. I don't know. I just like I feel like I need to go to a doctor, but like I'm constantly just like nauseous and I don't really know why. Like I have tried Oh my god, it scared like, me. Take medicine. Y'all think this video set up? I think I seen this video in another like scary comp, bro. But I gotta check out Nukes Top Five because Nukes Top Five they be consistent and they always drop like the good good videos. So it's just happened that we happened to see this one, but we've only reacted to one scary trailer, I think. Or maybe like two. So we shouldn't be able to see any other clips as we go forward with a consistent channel, if that makes any sense. But I did see this one, and I seen the little lady in the corner, and it scared me. I don't know. Y'all think this set up, or y'all think this real? I'm constantly just like nauseous, and I don't really know. Right here in this corner. Like I have tried to, like, take medicine for it and stuff but 
I, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it really does anything. Um, but if you wanted to swing by, um, and say, hey, like you could, oh, I can't see. That man talking about some, cause the first time I, I seen this, I wasn't worried about what he was saying. He telling y'all to come by. This is the night shift, buddy. You in there alone. Who's going to pull up on you while you alone in there? I also hate that they always keep this room so f***ing dark. Like, come on now. Bro. But, anyways. Yeah, if you wanted to swing by and say, hey, then, you know, you could. Nobody's coming. But, <laughs> yeah, I'm just chilling. Throughout the video, strange voices and whispering can be heard. I felt bad. Honestly, it's less like a little bad to like take that sort of thing. Um, and I also hate that they always keep this room so fucking dark. Like, come on now. Bro, I seen this. Biggest of all, something can be seen standing in the shadows just behind Dustin. Not once. Twice. twice. Yeah. Some dark figure with a distorted skeletal face. Now at the time I'm recording this story, this video has gained a massive audience of over 19 million viewers. Dang! Making it the most popular and most suggested video. But is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? What y'all think? We need scary videos. So if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. I bet. On camera. Auto cam. Justin says that he and his family recently bought and moved into a historic 1800s terrace house in London, England. But 1800s? Justin says his doorbell security camera caught something really creepy. Oh no. That looked like a brother. That looked like a nigga. <laughs> Who is that? That boy looked like he about to hit a lick. Or rob your car. That ain't nothing crazy. That's just normal. Around 10 p.m. at night, someone or something can be seen quickly taking a peek at Justin's front door. Now that's someone. Whoever or whatever it is appears to walk past the car in the driveway before disappearing off camera. Bro, you really have to be safe out here in this world, bro. Because it's some crazy, weird people. And the scary part about it being crazy, weird people all throughout this world is they everywhere, bro. Like, y'all got to think about it. Whenever you look on the news and they say, oh, somebody did a mass shooting or somebody did this or that, you got to understand that somebody went to school with that person. Somebody, just like how you went to school and you was around some of your homeboys, you knew people in your class, everybody had to go to high school for real, bro. So somebody was cool with them. Somebody went to school with them and know that person. Like, it's crazy, bro. People really be crazy and they be around you. You got to pay attention to your surroundings and be safe out here. For real, for real. Now, with the house's 200-year history, Justin is worried that his renovations might have triggered some paranormal presence to act out. It wasn't the renovations, worried bro. Reddit viewers warned Justin that he might be dealing with something even scarier. A trespassing stranger that is scoping out his house yes. for unknown reasons. So is this a ghost or is this a very real and potentially dangerous person? That second one. <laughs> what y'all think? I think it's the second one. Somebody's looking for Justin. <laughs> Frozen in fear. In this creepy video, a woman begins recording when her dog refuses to come back inside their house. The dog seems frozen in place and refuses to even look back at his owner as she no, calls that's to him. Scary. Nigel, what are you doing? What the hell? Nah, this would scare the Nigel. hell out of me. What the hell? Oh my God, Nigel. What's that? What's that? What's that? The dog appears to be frozen in fear as it stares at something behind the shed in their backyard. When the woman Hell no. slowly looks around the corner, Nigel, her bring your ass. Almost <laughs> stops as she sees two creepy glowing eyes staring That's a cat? right back at her. 
Now the video abruptly ends here and was reposted to the internet by social media outlets that just don't bother to credit the source. So with no explanation, it's hard to say exactly what's going on here. But the dog's freaked out reaction is nah. strange. I've never seen a dog in that so position. Just what do you think this dog is seeing looking back from the darkness? Cursed. A young woman in Japan claims that her cursed. grandmother kept a cursed photo album locked in one of her what? cards. The woman believes that her grandmother might have dabbled in dark magic. Bro, this is so scary that people actually do this, bro. You know how you gotta be to get into dark magic? That don't even sound like nothing you wanna get yourself involved in, bro. What? I think I was, I seen a clip on TikTok where they was talking about somebody in Funny Mike's like click or you know people who are around him has stole something from a voodoo shop why would you do some goofy stuff like that and then they say whenever he got in the wreck because apparently the person who stole from the voodoo shop got in a the wreck they say the bracelet that he stole from the voodoo shop wasn't on his wrist no more it disappeared they couldn't find it like bro hell no do not mess with no dark magic spirits none of that bro i don't want none of that around me Y'all might be different. Y'all might be and some weirdos. If you a weirdo, don't bring none of that over here. Might have led don't to her you do it. <laughs> strange, unexplained death 12 years earlier. Her grandfather allegedly took his own life inside the home. But the what? circumstances were very suspicious. The young woman says that for her part, she once viewed the cursed album herself, but that she became seriously ill immediately afterwards. Oh my God. Oh, hell no. Nah. Don't show us. Uh-uh. Hell no. I don't want none of that. That's the way. But she's <laughs> still afraid of the home and the creepy folk. Dang it. We saw it. She asked anonymous I'm not taking no chance. to Conico to remove and destroy the album, warning him that everyone who views the photo album becomes ill and that some of her family even believes that the cursed album can possess the viewer. You mother... Why would you... Why would you do this to me then? Why would you show us? Bro, hell no. We might not ever be able to do Nukes 5 ever again, bro. If I get sick after this, bro, I'm suing. I'm not going to lie. I'm getting my money in from Nukes, Nukes Top 5. I'm getting it. Because what? Nah, hell no. Nah. So Kaneko explores the old abandoned home and finds the album. But he too starts to become ill and is forced to quickly leave the house, leaving behind both his phone and camera as he dashes out. No. YouTube channel Fourth Wall is contacted and asked to retrieve his equipment and analyze the footage. What they find is downright chilling. Bro got the phone set up, the camera set up. Recovered footage from a phone that was used as a static camera shows a portrait of the woman's late grandfather just falling to the floor for unknown reasons. But that's not all, because Kaneko has actually recorded the moment he found and looked through the cursed photo album. Look through it. Something happens that Kaneko claims that he doesn't remember at all. Something terrifying. Why would he look through the book? He better not look through this book again. I'm not trying to see it. Don't look at it. I'm not looking at it. <laughs> Bro, I genuinely don't want to see it, though. Oh, no. She into some deep stuff. Hell no. Nah. No, don't look at it. Please don't. Don't mess with stuff like this. Y'all can watch this on your own. If he opened the book, I'm skipping forward. I'm letting you know. You better not, you mother. Stop it. Stop. Stop, stop. Hell no. Nope. Okay. 
Man, and I looked at it too. I'll let y'all enjoy. Y'all can skip by it, bro. I glanced anyway. Dang. No. That was not like that. I would not drop my camera, I promise you that. What? What is going on? Did you see it? Bro, I Michael didn't see hears nothing. A strange sound coming from somewhere inside the house. But when he turns to look, wait, someone. Yeah, that's what I saw. Can be seen kneeling behind the glass of a sliding door. But Kaneko says there was no one else inside that house with him. After analyzing the footage, YouTube channel Fourth Wall believes that the woman's grandmother might have been responsible for her grandfather's death, and that his spirit is unable to move on. Watcher in the woods. Watcher in the woods. YouTuber Creepy Outdoors frequently sets out to explore and spend the night deep in the wilderness of Canada. On one of these trips, he sets up camp just like any other night. And these type of people are a different type of people. What? Go camping in the woods at night? Just for fun? You get an adrenaline rush out of that? You feel like you a macho macho man, bro? Bro, their life in, in the city and stuff is already treacherous. Paying this rent is treacherous. Paying this taxes is treacherous. Getting a job is treacherous. How do you have time to go out in the woods hiking, hunting, and fishing for food, my guy? What type of time, what type of job do you have that you could just get out and do that? And scout through and the have fun. with a flashlight <laughs> and a GoPro camera. But this time, something very unexpected happens and things take a creepy turn. Hell no, nah, bro. You not even in a tent? Oh no. Oh. Yeah, oh. Don't talk back. What the hell? Turn the flashlight back on. I need to get out of here. Oh boy. No shit, Sherlock. Okay. How you even know which way you going? Oh, or where your creepy. stuff at? I need to get out of here. You run off, you gonna trip over a branch, it's hella branches. In the room. Bro, why are you pissing me off, man? This white folk activity, man. I hate to say it, it is. And if you white, I understand, you understand, bro. Dab me up, you steal my nigga, I'm just saying. Or I, you steal my wigger, I ain't gonna give you that pass. You steal my wigger, but dang. I would not be caught, number one, I wouldn't be in this position, but you gonna talk back? Hell no. You wouldn't, I would never be in this position. You, you take off running, even for a video, like a little video for, hell no. Nah. If you take off running, you're done for. You see how many sticks on the ground? Who know where you at? Like, Remote oh Lord. Ones. So he cuts his flashlight so he can't be seen. But the joke is on him, because just then, a high-pitched voice can be heard calling out, I see you. Why did he say it like that? <laughs> Oh, f oh, hi. Now he's hi. a little on edge and wondering if there might be someone or something stalking him in the dark woods. He decides to just quickly head back to the safety of his camp. Yeah, the experienced safety. explorer says this is the scariest sound he's ever heard in the woods. Even though he was somewhere deep in the Canadian wilderness and completely removed from any towns or cities, he says that he hopes that the voice belonged to just a fellow camper having a laugh. 
having a laugh? That mug said, I see you and didn't give a response back. Where was the laugh at in that equation? <laughs> you can watch this entire video over on the YouTube channel, Creepy Outdoors. Creepy Outdoors? Should we check out some Creepy Outdoors? And if you have a scarier compilation, comment it down below in the comment section. 